one more. Okay, just one more. Alfred, what are you doing? I was just investing. Investing? This is gambling, Alfred. No, you have no, a problem. It's, it's a gambling addiction. <laughs> Want to see me do it again? No. I spent two hundred dollars on keyboard mystery boxes to prove a point. Howdy, hey. I'm Hippio Tech, and you're probably wondering what point are you trying to prove? Why two hundred dollars? Why do you have a gambling and a keyboard addiction? Well, I'm gonna get into all of that very soon. But first, get into that subscribe button as 78% of you haven't subscribed yet and it's free. If you just subscribed, here's a bonus. Howdy hey. Now this story starts about a month ago when Idobao, a sponsor of mine, decided to send me some mystery boxes to open on a stream. Let's just say something about that is a little bit sus and I'll let past Hippio explain why. These are mystery boxes that were explicitly sent to me as Hippio Tech. Now, if you're a human being with any form of cerebral capacity, you will probably know that that means that this is not a real mystery box. Not gonna lie, there's probably a nicer way to put that, Mr. Hippio. These mystery boxes ranged from $10 to $30 and promised you anything from keycaps to surprise suits gifts for your family and friends, and most importantly, keyboards. Now, seeing these bold claims, I had to put this to the test and I went full secret shopper, which I'll talk about very soon after I opened their first two boxes. So yeah, they sent me a mystery box with a keyboard planted in it. That's super sus. Now I need to test it. Sorry for saying sus so much. Immediately, I went over to the Idobao website and I purchased not one, not two, not three, but eight mystery boxes. Oh, so who's the gambling addict now, Hippio? Hmm? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hippio, they're just gonna send you another planted package because they know who you are. Well, don't worry, I had just the plan for this and that's how I went undercover with name of Bing Bong. Now this Bing Bong is a true gambling addict and that's why he purchased eight whole packages. See, it's like a Linus Tech Tips secret shopper type of thing. Look at me go, yeah, undercover. It's also worth noting that I purchased these with expedited shipping that cost $30 and it still took like a month to ship. I was supposed to release this when they were still selling mystery boxes. My God. But they all arrived. Eight mystery boxes all packed up. I have literally no way of knowing which mystery box is which, which one's the $30 one, which one's the $10 one, but some are lighter than others. I don't know why I thought this was a funny bit, but look at me go, I'm buried in mystery boxes, oh no. But at this point, I was wondering, will I end up getting a keyboard from any of these, or was it all a lie? They said one out of 10 get a keyboard, but I'm not very good at math, so let's get into it. Mystery box number one of eight. Is it a scam? It feels like there's nothing in here. Let's get into it. So this is how we're gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be cutting open each box, and then uh, we're gonna be seeing, wait, what? This is like basically nothing. There's a card. The card says, thank you. Thank you. What's in here? Are you, you're serious. What? <laughs> you know that one meme where it's like, my expectations were low, but wow, uh, this set the bar way lower. I got 10 switches. I have to assume this was the $10 box, but I mean, they're kind of nice, but 10. I can't build a keyboard with 10 switches. Okay, maybe the second box will be better. Maybe there's gonna be a little bit more in the second box. No. I had to mute myself there because I said something not advertiser friendly. Yeah, seriously, um, what the actual heck is going on here? This is my second box now, and it is how many switches? Count it with me. For those of you that can't count that fast, it was 30. Also, fun uh, video bonus fact, I'm gonna be setting everything very gently on this chair in the corner of my room throughout the period of this video. So we'll just start by setting these guys gently on the chair. Nothing going on here, they're just going on the chair. Now surely with the third box, there's gotta be a little bit more potential. We've only got upwards to go from here. Our expectations were low and okay, it's a keycap set. Let's investigate a little bit closer. Now from first glance, using my little Hippio knowledge, these appear to be pudding keycaps. In general, these keycaps are incredibly cheap and you can get a full set that supports a lot of different layouts for roughly 15 bucks on Amazon, which I'll link down below. So we're off to a bad start here. We've got two sets of switches that can't even fill out a full keyboard and a set of keycaps that's really cheap. 
Wait, how much money did I spend again? $180? Oh my god. Okay, we're really... We got the pace going. Okay, another set of keycaps and another set of keycaps. But these actually seem a little bit more promising. So I tried to do a little bit of research to figure out what these were, and they don't sell them on the Idobao website. But it's a keycap set that appears to be PBT with die sub lettering, maybe? And uh, it's really ugly font. The only thing I can think of with these mystery boxes is maybe it's just all of the keycaps and stuff that they couldn't sell that they just chucked in a box to say, screw you. Now remember, I'm coming at this from the angle of a consumer. Oh, but look at this gradient keycap set. That's kind of nice. If I was one of you and I spent my hard-earned money on just one or two boxes and this is what I got, I would be pretty depressed. Well, maybe I already am. I don't care about plastic, but they Alfred, is Grow fantastic. Up, but it's fine. It's only up from here because I'm doing them in order from lightest to heaviest. So there's definitely some hope for us at the end and I couldn't cut that for some reason. If you're keeping track, I think this is the fifth box here and we've got some keycaps on top and ooh, a second box, a bonus box. Maybe something in that one. And these appear to be some type of melon colored keycap. Honestly, pretty aesthetically pleasing. Uh, is there layout support? Well, not a lot of layout support. There's, I guess, basic 75%, 65% covered. So your average keyboard will be covered with this one. That's not terrible. It's a keycap set. You know, these can go for a lot of money. But what's in this next box? All right, it's got to be something. There's got to be something worthwhile in this box. This is an... Uh, wait, I've seen this before. Guys, I've seen this before. This is, this is the same. Is this... What? Hold on. This and that and this and that it's the same set but without the efro are you kidding me oh at least this one comes with a keycap puller wait uh, it doesn't come with a key or a switch puller there's not even a keycap or a switch puller included at this point i had three boxes left please have a keyboard please have a keyboard and i had gone please full copium copium Copium. Copium. I'd invested a decent amount of money in this video, and I was like, come on, guys, Idobao, you, you're gonna have good stuff in your boxes. So this one was a bit harder to open, and... Oh. This box looks like it was through a war zone, but on top I see a cable, which, honestly, this seems like a pretty decent quality cable. I'm not too mad about this box. At, well, for now. Below that is what appears to be a full keycap set. Granted, it has gone absolutely everywhere. It it seems to be a die sub PBT keycap set, maybe worth 25 to 35 dollars. So that's pretty decent. It's got a lime theme. I like that the cable matches the keycaps in this box. After all these years, I have finally found the limes. They're beautiful. Where's the limes? There's a little bonus joke for some of the Howdy Hey gang members. Uh, some of y'all will get that one. But like, surely the next two boxes are gonna have a keyboard or something, right? Oh, so you think you can just buy a couple boxes and call it fine? I ain't taking that hip, yo. This is a gambling addiction too, all right? I'm not deflecting from my own problems. For the record, I think he's deflecting. Speaking of deflecting, I'm gonna be deflecting my head into a wall if I unbox more keycaps. I was at least hoping for a full set of switches or something, and these are like the bottom of the barrel style keycaps with the weird designs, like this is a group of people partying at the beach. Well, okay, this one actually, not too bad. I'm kind of liking this one. This is a matcha themed keycap set. I've seen this one on drop.com before. This set actually does retail for 29 US dollars. I'll link it down below. Now, at this point, I got very 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 desperate please mr idol bow if you're out there give me a keyboard i'm addicted to gambling i i'm sorry alfred this was right please just too, one right? keyboard please bro i think this was just a sorry excuse to gamble as a youtube video i think uh, you have a serious problem hippio it's really coming out <clears throat> any anyways um there's a singular box left on my floor it looks very appealing. I was put some angelic noises. Ah, uh, oh, for some reason our editing budget is smaller this video. I don't know why. Must have been somebody buying some stuff. But with the last box, I had lost basically all hope in. No. What? 
Yeah, so I think this is some type of Chinese propaganda keycap set. I'm a little bit sussed out by this. Gonna have to Google Translate this in a second. But uh, at least the colors are nice. Okay, what's Google Translate say? US is not eligible. Condescending to speak with China. I don't think that's a good translation. And Chinese, don't eat this. That one makes a bit of sense. Don't eat the keycap. You know what? Maybe it wasn't about getting a keyboard. Maybe it was about the keycap friends we met along the way. Because I don't think this is a keyboard in here. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. It's a blank keycap set and it doesn't look that good. Doesn't even have a keycap puller in it, of course. What did we learn today, kids? Never gamble. Never buy mystery boxes. I'm done. I regret doing that.